everyone and welcome back to Gypsy Fae Creations. Tiara here and today's soap making video is brought to you by the color pink. Most specifically the pink flower called a rose. If you've seen the previous video where I've unboxed Brambleberry's modern floral collection, there was a wild rose scent in there and I do not care for the smell of roses. I don't want to smell of them. I don't want to do anything with the smell of roses. It's just not my thing. But I'm going to get over that today and I'm going to make a soap with the Wild Rose Fragrance Oil. So, let's get started. one because the description of the wild rose it says it accelerates in cold process so I'm crossing my fingers and I'm going to try and work through this fast so that everything goes well. Um, oils have been melted down left at room temperature I've got my wild water and lye solution I've also put a bit of rose water in here you can replace your water with rose water I'm not quite sure what the benefits are, if it's just to say that I've made soap with rose water. I want to say the scent's going to disappear once it goes through the saponification. Um, it is what it is. I just had a sample of it and I'm making a rose soap and I wanted to put it in there. So let's get this to a light trace. Okay, so I'm not trying to go too crazy with this recipe just because it does accelerate, but then again, I am trying to be daring. Um, working with three colors here, I've got a new leaf mica powder from Nurture Soap. This is a new sample that I just purchased that I'm really excited about to try. Um, I've got a rose pink, how fitting, and a rose clay. There's a theme here. So I'm gonna split this up I've also got my hanger scroll ready because I'm not sure how this is going to go, how accelerated this is going to get. Um, I just want the accent colors to be the pink and green, or well, the rose, clay, and the green. I'm going to also sit some of this green to the side and <clears throat> pipe a little bit with it. And maybe a little more. Not what I usually do, but I'm not doing a fancy top on this. I just want to do some vines and um, leaves. So I'll put my pink, my rose pink in there. And I'm going to start with this lighter color first. Add that to the top of this, which I'm glad I didn't add to the bottom of it because I'm pretty sure a lot more would have stuck. I'm really excited about this green. And I'm going to put the fragrance in this one last. And here we go. So I'm only going to use the spatula on this one because I don't want to make it mad when I stick blend it. I want to love the smell, I really do. But I don't like it. Try not to hold my breath, it's not that bad. I mean it could smell worse, but it's just not my thing. So far, it's doing okay in the soap batter. Let's 
with a surprise attack. <laughs> like it's doing much of accelerating here. Alright. Let's get the mold going. I'm gonna start by pouring in this bright pink color. well so far so I don't entirely hate it <laughs> and then I'm going to add the rest of the fragrance to the green mix that up some of this in here just on one side because I think I still want to take stick blender down it and then I'm going to pull up stick blender the wire hanger and then I'm just going to pour the rest of this on here too scared about this accelerating that I just wasn't thinking about anything else. play with the top of it but I, I kind of want to avoid that green showing on top so I might not do that so I'm going to also let the rest of this green set up before I put it into a icing bag and try and make some pretty leaves on top of it so I decided to take the hanger through it let me just do that. And yeah. And it's accelerating a little bit. Definitely setting up really fast. Alright. Oh no! Look what I did. Green. On top! Let me see here. It's fine. Adds character. 
All right, so on top of this soap, I'm going to add these little rose embeds that I've made out of mountain pour. And they're gonna go in the middle. And then on the side of them, I'm going to put some leaves and vines. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I look at a rose or think of rose or smell rose, it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. Like, I don't know if that's just such a classic fairy tale, Disney movie, play, cultural thing. But when I think of a rose, I automatically think of Beauty and the Beast. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and stick one of those down each one of those. And speaking of classic movies, I have a best friend who had never seen Land Before Time. Shame. Unless there's other people out there who haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. The movie is now 29 years old this year, which is insane, and there's like eight or nine of them, which I find crazy that they made that many of them. But I had her sit down and watch it over the weekend, and everyone was like, it's so sad, you're gonna cry. So now I'm thinking, what other movies can I get her to watch? She said she never saw The Goonies, and I think she needs to watch that. I have all of these things on VHS still, like from when I was a kid, I saved my VHS movies, and I still have them all. I have a VCR too. <laughs> it brings back some old times. <clears throat> Alright, I'm back with the piping, and it looks like it's ready. So I'm just kind of trying to make designs on here. I don't know. That look like vines. Jeez, oh wait, I'm not very good at this. Um, so I was talking about like classic movies that I grew up watching, and everyone's a different age, so I'm sure you know not everyone's got the same classic movies. But she's around the same age as me. And I feel like I need to introduce her to these Goonies and this uh, Land Before Time. But they're not really classic Disney movies. They're just, they're kind of in the same category, but um, classic Disney movies. Mm, favorite would have to be Robin Hood or... Peter Pan. Oh, I was a weird kid and I liked things like bed knobs and broomsticks and uh, the great mouse detective. Not, I don't think a lot of kids got to watch that so I would understand if you didn't see one of those. I think I'm gonna have to have a Disney marathon. What is everyone's favorite Disney movie? I know there's a lot of unusual ones out there that maybe a lot of people haven't seen. Um, like bed knobs and broomsticks. I'm assuming everyone's seen Beauty and the Beast, but that is just everywhere. Everyone can probably say they've seen that movie. And I've seen it in the play. I think I have a can of soup in my cupboard. I don't know why that one just took off so much more than any other Disney movie. I think I have like way too much icing in this bag. <laughs> Find something else to do with it. Right. I think I'm good with that. Hmm. Stick some more random leaves everywhere. Maybe on the sides here. cover up my so-called attempt at a vine. <laughs> it's hard to do, you know. In my head, I thought it was going to be easy. And it wasn't. All right. 
but I'm gonna let this sit for 24 to 48 hours before I come back and cut it. Just got some glitter to sprinkle on top of here. And some isopropyl alcohol. And I'll be back. Bye. <laughs> Crisis averted, Bradley has fixed, fixed my soap cutter because I dumbly tightened it too much and it went boink and broke. Thank you, Bradley. Now that I'm looking at this, though, <clears throat> I think you messed up my uh, alignment. Alignment here, yeah. Got it again. <laughs> That's gonna be a very special bar of soap. Mm -hmm. Thank you for fixing my soap cutter, Bradley. You're very welcome. Let me see inside of that. <clears throat> so since this has been sitting around the house, I think I realize why I don't like the the rose smell. Like roses remind me of death <laughs> <laughs> or funeral homes, maybe. <laughs> I really don't like the smell of roses, and I think that's why. Do you like the smell of roses, Bradley? I do, yeah. I like to sniff a real rose, but I don't think I want to smell like it. So this, I'm explaining to these wonderful people how much I hate the smell of rose. While making a rose, so. <laughs> it's not for me, it's for the people. <laughs> you do it for the people. Just do it for the people. We were also talking about classic childhood movies. And what's your favorite? My favorite classic childhood movie. Yeah. Um, mm, All Dogs Go to Heaven movie? Right. Possibly. Depends on what part of childhood you mean. You mean like young childhood or yeah, like middle like, like childhood? Like kind of a classic Disney movie. Yeah, it would probably be All Dogs Go to Heaven. Which I haven't seen in, in ages, but I know that it was, that was a reoccurring uh, thing for me and the boys as kids. Because we introduced Erica to um, Land Before Time this weekend, and she said she's also never seen The Goonies. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't actually see The Goonies until later on as well. I didn't see it as a kid. These are just things that we have to watch, that's all. Goonies, Labyrinth, All Those That Have Been Land Before Time. Uh, like that, pretty much. There we go. Beautiful. Cool. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in any of the soaps that you see me make on this channel, check out my Etsy shop. I list them on there, so whatever's available, you guys can purchase. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more fun soap making videos. You guys can leave me any questions or comments down below. I promise I will get back to you. And until next time, guys, smell you later.